2026 months later. As you guys all know, a lot has changed and things change fast. Things quickly went south in 2020. We started off with the Australia fire um, and then we started off with the potential World War III. Then we had the COVID-19. Then we had a couple of deaths, Pop Smoke, Kobe Bryant, Gigi. A lot has happened. And then recently we have this protest. We had the um, police brutality of uh, George Floyd. Man, 2020 has just been a cluster. It's just been a mess altogether. And, you know, I really hope that we can improve. I hope we can bring back the peace. I mean, we had worse years, but this year, something about it was just tragic. You get what I'm saying? Tragedy. Police brutality coming back. And then you got the protests. People not wearing masks. So we don't know who's infected with COVID-19. So that's increasing the rate. But then again, I understand we want to, we want justice. You know, we want to stop police brutality once and for all. And I'm not, I don't agree with violence, but I understand it. Because sometimes you need violence to really make change. You need violence to make a change. And as you guys know, 2019 is one of my favorite years of my life. Just a lot of positivity and all of those positives outweigh the negatives of 2019. I graduated with my associate's degree in commercial arts. Um, I went to LA, Los Angeles for the first time, solo too at that. Also my YouTube success, you guys been supporting me like crazy. You guys are still supporting me in 2020 and I appreciate you guys all for watching and sticking around. And also I opened up my very own website which is another big positive in my book, shopsimplypops.com. You guys can pick up an always home hat and then now here we are in 2020. It's just, man, things are canceled, the NBA. And even if we get past COVID-19, people are still going to be skeptical of, you know, being close to people. Because really, COVID-19 is like fighting an invisible man. You can't see him, but he is kicking our asses right now. And, you know, I, I really hope that I really hope that we have a successful vaccine. But, you know, the thing with vaccines and stuff, you got to worry about the side effects. You know, you don't know what the side effects is going to be. I don't know, man. Things are constantly happening throughout the months of 2020 like first january we had the the death of kobe bryant rp to kobe what a legend and that just like i feel like the air sucked out you get what i'm saying like there was like no air like people are talking about it it was just like what just happened it was sad man to find out kobe and and his daughter Gigi passing away then we had the whole covid 19 in march every month is something yeah so 2020 so far, it's just been such a negative year. It's just like the negatives outweigh the positive. I hope that we can uh, do better. Like I hope that all of us around the world can do better. Um, stay at home. If you, if you know you have it, don't try to jeopardize someone else's and, and infect them. I mean, try to stay home the best as you can. Over 100,000 deaths has occurred in America due to COVID-19. And if you really think about it, Everybody, everybody's family has been affected with COVID. So you cannot lie to me and tell me that COVID-19 hasn't affected you at all. It affected everybody. And we got Ebola. You know, there was the first major case of Ebola. It's not in America, but like we have COVID. Now we have Ebola back on the map now. I'm grateful. I still have my mom. I still have my grandmother. I still have all my, my loved ones. But uh, my friend... Mingo, R.P. to Mingo, unfortunately, he passed away. Now, originally, I thought it was due to COVID. I don't want to get into it. I, I actually don't want to get into that, but I lost my friend this year, and it was so devastating because I was actually going to join the PS4 chat. He was the only one in the party. It was a Monday. I was going to say, like, let me see how my boy Mingo doing. And then I found out the news that he passed away on Wednesday, and I was like, wow somebody is here today and they just gone tomorrow and that's just like insane i was gonna i was literally gonna join the party chat but i said you know what i'm gonna get something to eat first i was gonna just like you know rest up lay back because when you're playing games when you're playing call of duty you're gonna play for hours so i, I wasn't really ready to play warzone just yet so I, I, that's why i didn't join the chat and then the time just flew and i just i never joined mingo and he passed away and that was it I just hope that everything calms down and I hope 
we could see through the light of uh, of 2020. I, I'm just tired of seeing the police brutality. I'm just, it's just, it's getting out of hand. Like it's just so many videos other than the George Floyd thing. The George Floyd thing was just disgusting to watch. Like I, it, I don't even want to get into it, man. But it's just the police brutality is just getting ridiculous. And enough is enough. Now here we are. In, in June, now we now we up to a protest now. It's a protest against police brutality. People just had enough of it, man. And I thought we'd been through this in 2017, but this is why people are coming out and, and um, protesting like crazy. Like it's vandalism, it's violence, but it's for a reason because we've been through this before and there's still no change. The economy is just like, it's going to crap. We have the stimulus, you know, that cost um, America a trillion dollars or billions of dollars it costs them a lot of money to give every citizen a stimulus check and then you have this going on the vandalism they got to repair the glass and it's going to be real tough and i think it's going to be a long time for uh america or um or to get back up and running like the old days again because that means now the taxes are going to be high so when you try to buy food or buy anything the taxes are going to be through the roof then also, money that you're gonna owe, they're gonna probably add in a fee. If they're gonna do something with that stimulus check, the whole working from home thing, I've been doing it for years, but at the same time, I understand it as like for a first time, you wake up every morning, you brush your teeth, and you go to work, but now you just like you right back at home. And that's why I feel like my video, my desk setup video, is gonna probably inspire people who's working from home. I'm pouring my whole heart into that video. My my wallet too, you know, it, it kind of broke the wallet a little bit, but I know it's going to be worth it. If it's going to help you guys out, it's going to be worth every penny. So I'm very proud um, to be moving into a bigger and larger studio. And it took me a lot of time too as well to plan it because low key I've been planning this for probably like two years, probably like two years since 2018, 2017-ish. Um, and it's finally, it's finally happening. So Make sure you guys watch that video. It's going to be awesome. But I'm curious to know. Let me know down in the comments down below. What are your top three worst years and uh, best years? I think my worst years has to be 2017. I think 2017 wasn't really a strong year. Um, a lot that went on. I was thinking about dropping out of college. I just feel like I, I just couldn't. I feel like I couldn't do it. And my brother inspired me to keep on going and I, you know, I graduated in 2019, which leads on to be one of my best years. 2018 was also another good year because a lot that just went on. You know, I started to take my photography game serious. I was hanging out with, with, with friends a little bit more often. 2018 was a classic year. And also 2015, 2015 was also one of my favorite years, just in terms of like the music, the, the vibes of the summer something about 2015 was a vibe and then the worst years I, i'm sad to say but 2020 um and then number two i would have to probably say 2017 yep 2017 and also 2013 i don't know school my grades wasn't really all that great i was afraid that i wasn't gonna graduate on time it was a nerve-wracking year for me and i'm just, like i'm just so proud of myself i definitely do not take you guys for granted i don't take this youtube platform for granted I'm grateful in the positioning that I'm in right now. And I just gotta say thank you guys so much for sticking around with me throughout the years. It's gonna be like a lot of discouragement because people are working from home. People are taking classes online. So it's like, I can't do this no more. I can't work from home because I have these distractions and you know, that's how you sink. You know, I, I've been through it. I've been through it where I felt like giving up. 2013, 2017, I felt like I was going to give up, but I didn't give up. And you know what? I'm so happy that I didn't because I wouldn't be in this position right now. But, uh, and you know, and if I gave up, I wouldn't even have this. You get what I'm saying? And yes, it's custom made. It's not from official YouTube. A company made it for me for surpassing 10,000 subscribers. And but I just never give up. And that's the whole goal of 2020. It's just like, it's kind of baiting you in to give up. But you don't you, you don't want to give up. Because in the future, you're going to say to yourself, like, wow, if I would have gave up in 2020, 
I wouldn't be in this position right now. So that's why you gotta always think. You gotta think about the future. You can't think about right now. You know, right now is important, but you gotta be concerned over the future. Like even if police step down and calm down, people are still gonna feel a certain way with cops. So I just feel like everything has just been so tainted. And we only six months in and we have a long way to go. We have another six months to go. And I just hope that we can, we can turn things around. Just spread the love.